It's disgusting. It's distasteful. And it's just flat out evil, in my opinion. It's just the father of lies is Satan. And yeah. you're watching this one of his sons talk to the American people. And all the Biden surrogates, the few that they have left, are still going on every mainstream media network, including our own Fox News, telling people, you know, you, you think it's bad, but it's not actually bad. And to me, that's so condescending and insulting to tell average Americans, oh, actually, the, the plight that you're feeling, the struggle you're feeling every time you fill up your gas tank, every time you go to buy groceries, if you're trying to make a mortgage payment, pay for anything in this country, it's actually not as bad as you think it is when they can see and they can understand for themselves how bad it is. I wonder, though, especially now when we've got an estimated $451 billion we're going to have to shell out for illegal immigrants immigrants. Do you think it's going to change votes in 2024? I would I would hope that it would, but I, I don't want to be pessimistic. I just feel like people aren't making the connection and they're still going to vote Democrat, even in these areas where they seem hopping mad about the illegals and the inflation and the Bidenomics. I don't know if it's enough to move the dial. Well, I think it is, Tommy. I think I think in one aspect it is. I think I've, I've heard a lot from a lot of people that have said, you know what, I'm waking up. I'm changing my vote. I mean, heck, even one of the leaders of the BLM organization in his, in his area came out and said, we need to vote for Trump. Uh, we need we need to switch sides. We need to wake up from this. A lot of people are absolutely waking up. We're seeing it by Ukraine to dumping more and more money to Ukraine. So while I believe people are waking up, Tommy, the other issue is the exact same issue we had in 2020, where we need to make sure that there's not anything outside of legal legitimate ballots being counted at the ballot box that's is my number one concern as well as many states like new york's already talking about it think doing giving driver's licenses to illegals that are going to try to get these illegals that are now in our country the right to vote and what are they going to vote for more free stuff yeah that's my concern as well i have more concerns and that is suburban women so I'm really concerned about Roe v. Wade, the Dobbs decision, the the overturn there. Um, not because it personally concerns me. I think it should lie with the states. I think the states are the, are the perfect answer to this this long discussed issue and conflict. I think states should decide. If you live in California, you're probably going to have on-demand abortion. If you live in Tennessee, you're probably not. So I think that's a great place for it to lie. However, the messaging has not reached the average American does not reach suburban women. And there are a lot of young people and women who are going to vote Democrat simply because of Roe v. Wade overturn. How do Republicans get out of that? I wish I could say, oh, you know, we're the pro-life generation, but that would be a lie because time and time again, we've been shown, whether it be the midterms or whether these last round of elections in 2023, we've been shown that this Dobbs decision is a death nail for anybody with an R behind their name in many, many states and races. How do we get beyond that? Well, I think it's exactly what you said. It's the messaging. We need to be better on the messaging. It should be up to the states. And the fact that uh, that that it's been that Roe's been overturned just means at the federal level, it's not a Ron DeSantis. So sometimes the facts don't matter when it's a personality contest. And as much as I like Ron and I think he's a great charismatic guy, I'm worried that an audience is going to listen to Newsom and his lies are going to take shape and take hold. But I want to just before I let you go address that last part, the Vivek climbing in the polls. I think it's Nikki Haley more so that's climbing in the polls, which terrifies me. But I'm wondering, though, it feels like everything's staying stagnant as far as the polls go. Trump still seems like he's at about 47 right. A young Kansas City Chiefs fan was raked over the coals by a dead spin writer who falsely claimed the young boy was wearing blackface at a game. And oh, I have some final thoughts. Those are my final thoughts from Nashville. God bless and take care.